Okay, um, so can you just react to another video? Mm -hmm. All right. Wait. Yep, press play. Feel the pain, chocolate rain. A baby born will die before the sin, chocolate rain. The school books say it can't be here again, chocolate rain. The prisons make you wonder where it went, chocolate rain. Build a tent and say the world is dry, chocolate rain. Zoom the camera out and see the light, chocolate rain. To be falling yesterday, chocolate rain. Only in the past is what they say, chocolate rain. With your neighborhood insurance rates, chocolate rain. Makes us happy living in a gay chocolate rain. Made me cross the street the other day, chocolate rain. Made you turn your head the other way, chocolate rain. History quickly crashing through your veins, chocolate rain. Using you to fall back down again, chocolate rain. History quickly crashing through your veins, chocolate rain. Using you to fall back down again, chocolate rain. Seldom mentioned on the radio, chocolate rain. It's the fear your leaders car control, chocolate rain. Worse than swearing, worse than calling names, chocolate rain. Say it publicly and you're insane, chocolate rain. No one wants to hear about it now, chocolate rain. It's real hard, it goes away somehow, chocolate rain Makes the best of friends begin to fight, chocolate rain But did they know each other in the light, chocolate rain Every February washed away, chocolate rain Stays behind his colors, celebrate, chocolate rain the same crime has a higher price to pay, chocolate rain. The judge and jury swear it's not the face, chocolate rain. History quickly crashing through your veins, chocolate rain. Using you to fall back down again, chocolate rain. History quickly crashing through your veins, chocolate rain. Using you to fall back down again, chocolate rain. Dirty secrets of economy, chocolate rain. Turn that body into GDP, chocolate rain. The milker blames the baby's DNA, chocolate rain. But test scores are how much the parents make, chocolate rain. Flipping cars in France the other night, chocolate rain. Cleans the sewers out beneath Mumbai, chocolate rain. Cross the world and back, it's all the same, chocolate rain. Angels cry and shake their heads in shame, chocolate rain. Lifts the ark of paradise and sin, chocolate rain. Which part do you think you're living in chocolate rain? More than march and more than pass than law, chocolate rain. Remake how we got to where we are, chocolate rain. History quickly crashing through your veins, chocolate rain. Using you to fall back down again, chocolate rain. History quickly crashing through your veins, chocolate rain. Using you to fall back down again. That's it. Um, what do you what do you think about that video? Um. I think it's a good song. I, I want to know what he means by chocolate rain. Uh, 
Because when it rains, they say God is crying. What is it? So then, what does the chocolate factor have to do with it? Um, when I hear chocolate rain, I think of the sky raining poop or something. Because um, I mean, poop is kind of like a when you think of like mushy, melty chocolate, it kind of looks like poop. Um, poop is not always a negative thing. You know, people look at poop. You know, obviously, it's something getting out of your body, but. You know, that, that term to shit on others or shit on your haters, so that that's a positive way, you know. Um, haters are fuel. Um, ne- negativity is a part of life, but me, I thrive off of it because all the negativity that's thrown at me is fuel. So I say like this, every day I start off with a certain amount of my tank. Anything negative that's given to me is just putting nitrous in my tank and pushing me further. It, it doesn't affect me. That's interesting. <laughs> that's a lot. Okay. Okay. Um, I think it's really interesting that you bring up the necessity of poop, of excrement. Mm-hmm. Our bodies literally um, eat, we poop, and that's how we get our energies through that reaction. Well, if you also think about the just random side note, trees literally taking carbon monoxide and create oxygen from it, and that's how they emit oxygen. So if you think about it, trees are like little cigarette filters sticking up around the world. And anyway, that's just, I'm just going off of what you said about excrement and how it's like not a negative thing, but I'm a little bit, okay, the lyrics were also very, did you read the lyrics about how it's kind of like, I don't know, what lyrics stuck out, stu- stu- stood out to you? Um, was there, was there so, a line so or anything? The, so uh, the one to me, because I've heard the song before, I know all about this guy. Um, the one he says, chocolate rain, some say dry, but others feel the pain. So... It's like it's like it's like some people will go through life and they will face very limited trauma. They won't face anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um sorry. <laughs> but um other people will go through life and they'll they'll feel a lot of pain. So much pain it's unbearable. So it just all the hap- it all just de- depends on the cards you're dealt. Some people will stay dry and not live, feel as much not pain. feel as much pain and others will feel it all. And then there'll be those people in the middle who are wandering. So I guess what he, if, if I put that into terms, I'm like, when he says some stay dry, people look um, at the rain. You know, they always see umbrellas like, oh my God, I don't want to get wet. But I, don't, I never understand that concept of society. We wake up every morning and we hop in the shower. <laughs> we should embrace rain. Especially it's, if it's a natural shower. That's what it's, it's natural. You don't even have to pay for it. <laughs> it's a free shower. That's funny. Um, so, you know, and then I understand women, they have nice hairstyles so their hair don't get wet, but... You know, they have. I think Michael Jordan's mom told him, you know, if you if you if you if you're in the rain, you're just gonna get taller. This is little. No, that, 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 Michael Jordan told the story. His mom's like, um, there was a few superstitious stuff she had. She's like, if you're in the rain, it's a good thing. It, it just, it's just gonna make you taller, son. Well, I mean, you could think of it in a different way, also. Like, if you if, like practice in the rain. Well, the way that I just heard what you said is, if Michael Jordan like is practicing in the rain, he's like, mom, I just practice in the rain. She's like, it's okay, because. It's obviously like you're playing basketball in the rain. That's like kind of, it's it's an added element. It's an added um, external factor. It can only make your shot better. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like if you if you practice with with harder um, 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 like like uh, what's it called? It, a rougher environment yields mm-hmm. you to be smarter. It, you, it makes you have to conform to your surroundings. So you have to be witty. And so it's like. It makes you taller. I mean, I guess I took that and made it. It makes you like better. It mm-hmm. makes you smarter. Yeah. It makes you grow. Yeah. Um, playing in the rain, which is really interesting. It's like embracing your excrement. I didn't get that at all from this. This was mad political to me. Did you? Uh, I don't even know. It's just the old one line that sticks out to me is turning people into GDP. What is GDP? Not Granddaddy Park. We're not just uh. turning ourselves into blunts, but it's like GDP is like so. I don't even know. What does that mean to you? What does it stand for? What does GDP stand for? I think GDP is like, um, fuck, now I'm just thinking of Granddaddy Perk. I'm just like, um, GDP is like general, wait, GDP. Something with money. Something with money. Turning people into a stock, I would like to say. It's like something with money. Um, and I think that's really interesting now that we're kind of coming up in this era of like online personas and being able to sell yourself online in certain capacities and it's like is that not in a way selling yourself but at the same time it allows you to work a job you don't hate anyway that's me just putting my i i I want i need your i want i want to know your reaction about that because that came out and people were just like what the fuck 
and they didn't even think about the lyrics. They were just like, what is a silly guy, a nerdy black dude singing about Chocolate Lorraine in an opera voice? They're, they miss out on what the hell he's actually trying to say. And I don't know, I just think that's interesting. Yeah, um, he definitely, um, when he's talking about that, I guess basically everyone's a number, everyone's, uh, everyone is given a social security number, and I look at life like this, we're all on the path to death, but we're all in line, and we don't know when our time in line to go. We're all in line to heaven. Yeah. If you believe in that kind if of shit. If you believe in that, you know, but we're, we're all in line to whatever is next, and if that's nothingness, that's nothingness, but there, there is a time and place that we will go, and... In, in life, you can shift the ladder, but you wouldn't know. It's all happening, and you just don't know. When you're time to go, it's your time to go. But you never know when it, it could be your last day. Oh. Because life is so unpredictable, so... It's not like that ladder has a number, and you're specifically that number. So stuff happens in your life, and you could accelerate that ladder to death, or de or make it less if you change to a healthier lifestyle. Mm. But it's still... It's still you can do all the perfect healthy things in life and still die from some crazy thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could live a, a nice life, go to the gym every day, eat healthy, be a vegan, and you could fucking have a tree farm. Uh, you know, so that's why people, uh, I see a lot of people nowadays with the mindset, I'm going to do whatever I want mm -hmm. because I only have one life and there's so much, already so much out of my control. Why not just live to the fullest? Yeah. and enjoy my time while I'm here. I had a fucking uh, uncle who was walking home from uh, Temple on Friday night, and he uh, uh, literally lightning struck a tree and it fell on him. And he died. And he died. I wonder um, I wonder what he talked about that night to God. I wonder what him and the big guy were talking about. How old was he? I don't even know, like 50 or something. Jeez, that's fucked. But, um, so what's up, right? What's in your mouth right now? What's going on? My nah, wisdom tooth. No, I knew. I just wanted to ask. Oh, well, I got my wisdom tooth out this morning, and uh, this is here to keep me in less pain and keep the keep the blood flowing. I guess you know, just make make it make it a little less. Uh, it's like a cushion. Less pain, but I thought pain is good. Chocolate rain. It's good to, to to get stronger through the through the problems. Pain is good, but p too much pain and you'll turn insane. Um. If you've been through too much trauma in life, you won't trust anyone and you'll just turn into someone who is just always on the edge. Jaded. Yeah. So, yes, there's need for pain, but there's there's levels to the pain, and that's why society has stuff to reduce the pain. Because if there were no pain reducers, we'd live in a much more violent world than we already do. It's violent as fuck. I know, and that's with pain reducers. Like so marijuana, pain, uh, painkillers. All the stuff like that, that if you're in some pain, you can take. But just imagine if that stuff wasn't there. People would just go crazy. You get your wisdom tooth out and you have nothing to numb the pain. You're going to be in a bad mood. <laughs> you're going you wanna, to you wanna want to snap. Everyone has a, a meter of anger about when they snap. And some people have, they can hold it for this long. And some people, there's no fuse. They just get angry and it doesn't matter. They're just going to, you know, have a little... Uh, and I mean, it's we have, from, we have in a sense kids. Kids throw tantrums. And you get whether whatever your parents do to teach you. They either take stuff away or corporal punishment. And then as you learn as an adult, uh, what, what happens to you as a kid then, then will transpire. Um, there's still adults who have tantrums all the time. Yeah. Uh, it, it, ju it just depends. What's um, a grown-up tantrum that you noticed? Just um, when people don't get their way. Like, say you order something, like you're at Starbucks and some lady doesn't get the drink right. You know, they're just like, oh my god, like I come here all the time, like do you know, they yeah, like do you know who I am, like, that person at the Starbucks don't give a damn who you are, they're just trying to make your drink, and you should be respectful and understand that people make mistakes, and no one's perfect. So, yeah. what, what, is there anything good that comes from pain, in your opinion? Um, fit, physical pain, like in the gym, if you go to the gym, you work out and you're sore, being sore is considered pain, but that's how your muscle grows. So say you go lift on a Monday, you should take a break on Tuesday, go back Wednesday. On Tuesday, your muscle's growing. That's how lifting, you know, works. Oh, but you're saying that pain is... is, is Building uh, your muscle up. Is, a, is like a symbol of growth? Yeah. That's a good point. Because you've worked out, your body is sore. Why is it sore? It's telling you, you worked hard. You, that's how, that's, that's that's, how the, the best athletes become the best athletes. That's so weird that you have to be in pain to grow. 
Oh. It's like when you're teething as a ch as a child, and it's breaking through new skin, so it's gonna fucking hurt. Whoa. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we I think we're good here on the yeah. Chuck Lorraine. I do. That was a great video. Thank you. Uh -huh.